morning welcome back to the kitchen today we're doing a redo southern style pimento cheese is a staple at the southern table and i didn't know how delicious it was until i moved to north carolina 12 years ago i've done a video on this in the past but we're redoing it for to update the quality and just to help you remember how good something can be if you've never seen this recipe before let's go see how this all comes together I made a video all about how to make pimento cheese a long time ago and it's time to update that recipe and the video because not that the recipes changed but because the video needs to be updated and it needs to look a little bit better and maybe some of you were not following me back when I did that video so it's always good to have a nice refresher and with the holidays coming up pimento cheese is a staple at the southern table let me tell you what if you go somewhere take the pimento cheese people will love you for it and you don't need an excuse to eat pimento cheese so it's really simple but it packs a lot of flavor and you're just gonna love it you can eat this on a grilled cheese sandwich you can eat this on any old sandwich you can eat this on crackers spread on bread with a spoon it's all good and I'm not gonna tell no matter how you decide to eat it you yeah, that's what he said eat it off the spoon right so you're gonna start with a brick of cream cheese this is an eight ounce brick of regular old cream cheese I have three cups of shredded sharp cheddar that I shredded myself I do recommend that you shred your own cheese right off the block because it doesn't have all of that cellulose fiber and extra stuff that they put in there to keep it from sticking together. A half a cup each of mayonnaise and sour cream and then I've got about a quarter of a cup, a little bit more, of uh, these are roasted red peppers that I chopped. You can also buy little jars of pimentos in the um, uh, like in the condiment section of the grocery store but they're really expensive ounce for ounce it's better to just go buy a jar of roasted red peppers and chop them up yourself because you're gonna get a better deal and roasted red peppers are awesome anyway and you can do a lot with them we're gonna season this up with a teaspoon each of onion powder and garlic powder and a half a teaspoon each of salt and cracked black pepper I'm also gonna throw in a couple of dashes of hot sauce whatever's your choice this happens to be um, chipotle tabasco so all we do now is we i like to make this in the food processor because it makes it a lot easier to deal with and we're just going to put everything in the food processor so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and process this just for a moment to get this all blended up together Okay, now our cheese is kind of blended up and then we're gonna add in the sour cream, the mayonnaise and all the good seasonings. There goes our sour cream. Make sure you use a good quality mayonnaise and this is not the place to use salad dressing or Miracle Whip. This is the place to use good old fashioned mayonnaise. There goes our pimentos. And this pimento cheese is actually gonna be a gift for somebody. A Little bit of chipotle sauce. And then back on with the lid we're going to process this until it's nice and smooth. All right, we are ready to go. Our pimento cheese is all mixed up. Now this is going to be best if you let this sit in the fridge overnight. So if you want to use it for tomorrow, make sure you make it today and let it set. But it's probably delicious now. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's good. Mm. Okay. Now, my recipe calls for a quarter of a cup of chopped green onion. I didn't have any on hand, so I just left it out. And if that's the case for you, don't sweat it. Don't not make this because you don't have the green onions. And if you don't like green onions, leave it out. I'm going to go plate this so I can show it to you guys, and I'll be back in a moment. There you have it. Our pimento cheese all ready to go, ready to serve. This is how I would serve it, just with some butter crackers or some little slices of baguette. Pretzels are great dipped in here, you name it. You could also put um, this on a veggie tray and dip veggies in it, it's delicious. Um, and it just is something a little bit different than onion dip or ranch dressing or what have you. I have one all ready to go for Rick. I know he's all ready to try this because he loves this as much as I do. I have to. You do. 
It's really good, isn't mm -hmm. it? Oh, yeah. And you can adjust the heat here. I use just a couple of shakes of Chipotle Tabasco, but you can add more or you can leave it out altogether. It's completely up to you. Like I said, normally I would add chopped green onion in here and that does add a little bit of an extra flavor, but without it, it's just as delicious. So you decide how you wanna make it. You're gonna wanna eat the whole bowl, but you probably shouldn't. Yeah, it's probably true. That's why I only put a little bowl out here. This is for us. What is remaining is going to someone else and I know they're gonna love it too. If you want to give pimento cheese a try, I'll leave the link down below where you can print out the recipe. You can go to my website and it'll be all ready for you. And I know you're going to love it. If you enjoyed today's video, please consider giving me a thumbs up. And if you're new to my kitchen, welcome. It's always a pleasure to have new people visit and become friends. Please consider hitting that subscribe button. And as always, if you are a tried and true member of the Noreen's Kitchen family, be sure and hit the bell notification button because we don't want any of you to miss out on all the real food for real people, real easy recipes that we present all the time right here on our YouTube channel and straight from our kitchen. I hope you give Southern Style Pimento Cheese a try sometime soon, and I hope you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya.